Hello, I'm Kimberly, and welcome to the weekend edition of the Navy News Update. It's Friday, May 6th, and many of the stories you hear here can be found at IndianCountryNews.com. And here's the news for today from the Associated Press and other Native news sources. Native American actress Irene Bedard and leaders of the Catawba Indian Nation in South Carolina announced partnership plans. Bernard's film and television production company, Sleeping Lady Films, Waking Giant Productions, and Catawba's Red Heritage Media would produce films about Native American issues. As an advocate and one of the most recognizable Native American actresses, Bedard lent her voice as Pocahontas in the animated Disney film and now hopes to lend her voice and influence to the Catawba Indian Nation. The two companies hope to collaborate on television and film projects with Native American themes, as well as on documentaries and short stories. The Catawbas purchased Red Heritage Media earlier this year and hope to build a $350 million movie studio project on 124 acres of tribal land in eastern York County with Studio South. The plans include multiple sound stages, a five-star hotel, a new Catawba Cultural Center, a school for film and music, and retail and offices. The American Indian College Fund will create pathways to college for Native American youth to improve access to college thanks to a $2.4 million grant from the Andrew W. Mellon Foundation. The three-year, three-pronged program called the Native Pathways to College Project will begin June 1st of this year. The College Fund will work through partnerships with reservation-based high schools and tribal colleges in designing and implementing the programs for students and their families while also identifying mainstream colleges and universities that wish to increase the diversity of their student body by increasing American Indian and Alaska Native student presence at their institutions. The Shakopee Mittawakanton Sioux community joined the University of Minnesota on April 30th to celebrate the graduation of this year's Native American students who received scholarships from the tribe. The 25 students make up the seventh graduating class to receive Shakopee Mittawakanton Sioux Community Scholarships, representing 21 tribes from across the United States. The scholarship program is part of the tribe's focus on bolstering other tribal nations and supporting talented Native American students with financial needs. About 200 Native American students have received the SMSC Endowed Scholarship in the past eight years. The program was established in 2009 with a $2.5 million gift from the Shakopee Mittawakanton Sioux community. The University of Minnesota matches the scholarship payouts from the endowment fund. When Mark Tilson first tried to sell his Tonka bar, a blend of buffalo meat and fruit, he was often shunned. Now years later, he is working with Whole Foods to promote his company's health food snacks, Tonka Bar and Tonka Trail. Tilson is president and co-founder of Native American Natural Foods that produce the fruit and meat bars. Tilson and his business partner, Carlene Hunter, co-founded the company in 2007. Though the buffalo fruit snacks were dismissed by some initially nearly nine years ago, these low-calorie natural protein snacks are now sold nationwide at some 8,000 locations. In January, the company released five new products with Whole Foods, including two new flavors for the Tonka Bar, and three new Tonka Trail snacks. For more information, you can check out tonkabar.com. More than 70 years ago, Minnie Spotted Wolf, a member of the Blackfeet Nation in Montana, broke through both social, gender, and ethnic barriers by becoming the first Native American woman to join the U.S. Marine Corps. Her story, which made Marine Corps history in World War II, was even told at the time in comic book form. Spotted Wolf's story was featured in a rare and now hard-to-find edition of the Calling All Girls magazine in graphic novel format. Ruth Ferris, a teacher from Billings who was researching Spotted Wolf's story, obtained a copy of the magazine and donated it to the Montana Historical Society. After four years of service in California and Hawaii, Spotted Wolf came home and earned a degree and taught elementary school for 29 years. Spotted Wolf passed away at the age of 65 in 1987 in Browning, Montana. And that's another roundup of news from Indian Country on this edition of the Native News Update. I'd like to thank you for joining me and have a grand day. <music>